Hey there, this is Hari Krishnan and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be continuing the exploration of images captured by Chandrayaan 3. This image is of Goddard Crater. The Goddard Crater is named after American physicist Robert H. Goddard. This impact crater reveals the story of celestial collision. The ring is the raised edge of the crater. It is well preserved and the center view gives us a glimpse into the powerful forces that shape the moon's surface. Goddard Crater is located along the eastern limb of the moon, which means it is visible from the edge of the Earth. Febrile vibrations refers to the more slight rocking and tipping movements that reveal different parts of its surface. During these favorable vibrations, we can see Goddard even from The crater is situated between Mare Marginis, a lunar region to the northeast of the prominent Nepal crater. To the northeast, you will also find another crater named Alberoni. This picture also contains another crater named Ibn Yunus Crater. It is named after the Egyptian astronomer Ibn Yunus, with its distinctive features and central peak. The crater offers insights into the moon's history of impacts. It lies on the far side of the moon, beyond the eastern lake. It is viewed from up only under favorable liberation sunlight. Even then, it is seen from the edge. It is attached to the east-southern ring of the crater Grodar. It lies within the Marginis, same as the Godard crater. Let's take a look at the image of Mare Marginis. This is only a part of Mare Marginis, also called the Sea of the Edge. This lunar mare is a dark, flat area formed by ancient volcanic activity. It lies on the very edge of the lunar near side. Its irregular outline, a little thin appearance, makes it funny about the near side Maria. Smaller, circular, and elongated features in the Mare plains mark impact craters buried by layers of lava. More intriguingly, Mare Marginis is centered on a clear, large impact missile. Instead, it seems to mark a flying region of the islands, but Many lavas were just able to reach the surface. Southern large, many flooded craters also occur nearby. Surface of this mare even displays lunar swirls. Higher albedo deposits, similar to the rain and gamma feature. This image is of the Mare Smithy, a lunar mare named after British astronomer William Henry Smith. This Mare is a dark, flat region formed by ancient volcanic activity. It's located along the equator on the easternmost side of North's near side. Based in where the Mare is located, it's of the pre nectarian age, an earlier iron moss. Features observed within the basin include wrinkle ridges, which are raised linear features caused by compressional forces. Submerged ghost craters are impact craters buried beneath lava flows, which are also visible in this mare. Near this mare, domes that are rounded elevations are also visible. Next, we'll take a look at the Hirayama crater. Named after the Japanese historian, what? We also go here at Hirayama. This crater is in bowl shaped depression on the moon's surface formed by impact event. Located on the far side of the moon, this region occasionally comes into view from Earth due to periods of favorable liberation. The cover, it is best viewed from the orbit. This wall, an eroded crater, showcases multiple overlapping impacts on its outer ring and interior. Surrounding craters such as Hirama K, Hirama C, Hirama Q remain the complex interactions that have shaped this lunar landscape. Next to it are the Brenner and Burner S craters. The Burner S is a satellite crater to the Brenner crater. These formations reveal complex interplay of impact events and subsequent modifications. We can see a very defined interior inside and inside the crater a rugged and irregular interior. 
with a central ridge formation that runs along the midpole. A ring-like formation on the floor adds to the entry. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe for more such videos.